Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use Photoshop raw brushes. Hey guys, and welcome. My name is Calvin, and I design, and that's why it's called Calvin Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use Photoshop raw brushes. These are specific local adjustment brushes in Adobe Camera Raw that work really, really well with raw files. So if you're a photographer and you use Photoshop, this is really for you, all right? So um, I'm going to show you really quickly how to install them on Mac and uh, how to use them really easily. And um, yeah, so if you like it or if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you and let me show you. All right, before we get started, I just wanted to show you real quick on Mac uh, where to install these raw Photoshop brushes real quick. So if you go and create a window, so command N, and then uh, go to the go menu and then hold down the option key to pull up the library which is otherwise invisible and in here you go to application support and find uh, adobe up here and then scroll down to camera raw okay in here uh in the camera raw you should have a thing called local corrections okay this folder right here this is where the adobe camera raw uh brush presets will get saved as you can tell i already have a bunch and um so if you downloaded bought, bought some or, or made some uh, in this case uh, for my uh photoshop raw brush collection uh you'll find them in here so like let's say the kd dodge and burn now the thing is it's important don't just uh copy paste the folder uh, you got to actually take the actual presets themselves and put them directly into this folder. All right, so I just wanted to cover that real quickly. Um, once that's done, restart Photoshop, and uh, and then it should work, okay? So I'm going to show you on a um, pretty simple image here. We're going to open up uh, this photo. Now, <clears throat> important to note, while these uh, Photoshop RAW brushes can work on a non-RAW image such as a jpeg um it really won't you you won't get advantage of all the uh, depth that these presets have if you do that it's just because due to the nature of jpegs it's so compressed there's not the amount of bit information needed to really manipulate these images well okay so all right so we open a raw file in uh, adobe camera raw and uh, basically so I have some uh, basic presets here, and, and we're going to go ahead and just do uh, some basic uh, overall before we get into, you know, details. Um, I do want to expose this just a touch, maybe add a little contrast. I want to definitely bring down some of my highlights just to get some, some data back in there. Open up the shadows, which are quite dark, as you can tell. And uh, you can really see how much information was hidden in those shadows just by opening that up, okay? And uh, here I hold down the option key just to see where my point is actually white. And you can see we're starting, we're getting close there. I don't actually want a purely white spot. So I'm gonna keep that around there. And same with the black point. If you hold down the Alt key and you bring it down, you'll see, ooh, you know, when you go down here, it's actually black. You don't really want, you don't want it too much, okay? And uh, that's not bad, not bad at all. All right, let's go down to color and um, I definitely want to get more of a sunset vibe. So I'm gonna open up that tint a little towards magenta and perhaps move my temperature a little warmer, okay? Uh, gosh, that's a little, little tricky. I do wanna keep a lot of the blue up here and the water, I like that. So let's see, it does, I definitely, I definitely wanna get a little warmer, but not too, too much. I don't wanna to get too uh, cast in there. And then let's go ahead and Increase the vibrance um, and some saturation. Okay. All right. Now it is. Uh, I, I I don't want to get too much. I was going to get into the clarity here. I like this sort of soft uh, water, you know, from that long exposure. So I don't. I don't want to. I, I don't really like adding too much clarity on a long exposure. It has a tendency to make things look little too much so i'm gonna not do that also we're gonna get into some local adjustments with the brushes which is the whole point of you know uh photoshop's raw brushes okay i just want to get a basic start here um it does b uh, bother me a little bit you see how uh it was a wide angle lens so we're gonna go ahead and uh crop um this image here 
And let's just go ahead and get rid of some of that over here. I'm going to undo that. I want to keep the proportion. So I'm going to hold down the shift key like this and like so something like this. Okay. Still have a bit. All right. It's not bad. Okay. And go back to the adjustment here and we've gotten rid of some of that. Okay. All right. Once you have your basic adjustments done, like we have here, um, we can always go back, which is the, the nice thing about, you know, uh, doing Adobe Camera Raw non, um, um, it doesn't break the image. You know, we're not actually uh, changing the pixels. We're just changing the adjustments of it. Um, so like, for example, I do want some more contrast here and maybe open up the shadows even farther and maybe even more contrast. So that's pretty good. Maybe bring down the highlights a tad more. Okay, I do feel like I've, I'm, I've gone a little crazy in the magenta here. So let's bring it down a bit, a little more natural here. Here we go. Okay, that's not bad. Now let's get into some local adjustments, okay? Um, so basically you go into the this section right here, right? Which is the, uh, the local adjustments. Now you can change, you know, you can select landscapes, um, you know, like backgrounds, foregrounds, middle grounds, um, which is pretty interesting. Um, this tutorial is more about brushing and doing that sort of artisanal uh, dark room uh, work, okay, which I really like. In here, you'll notice that I have my feather completely soft, so it's 100%. Uh, the flow, I keep around 78, 75, just so it's not 100%, which means that I can brush over twice and it'll affect the area a little more. Like if I was going to lighten it, and if I brushed it twice, it would lighten it farther. If it was 100, it would just be maximum amount of whatever setting I have, okay? So we're going to start. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to brush, let's say, uh, the trees, okay? And I'm, I'm going to, uh, I use a, the, the scroll on my mouse wheel to, the sorry, the, uh, yeah, the scroll wheel on my mouse to make my brush bigger or smaller, but you can also go ahead and just change that right here. Okay, so I, I go here and then I'm actually just going to start brushing. And then you see it says preset and I'm going to go in here and I have all those presets that you saw. And in this case, I have a cool little uh, happy trees. Okay, there's a happy trees uh, preset that I like. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and brush and you'll see that it's just doing a little bit. It's adding a little bit of, you can see what it's doing. Okay, it exposes a little, uh, a little higher exposure, a little more contrast. Uh, bring down the shadows and, and, and opening the shadows and bring down the highlight. And it has a bunch of little presets, making it slightly greener, a little more saturation. So it's it's a nice little uh, thing that I like um, that I use specifically for trees. Okay. Um, I don't really want it on the back there because I want to keep that depth in there, um, which is kind of cool. All right. All right. So that's the first one. Let's go ahead and make a new one. And again, a brush. And this time... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and play with some dodge and burn on these rocks and these foreground elements that I really really like So we'll start by doing a dodge which means to lighten and let's just do it slight I like doing things in gradients here So what I'm gonna do is I'm basically going to accentuate some of these lighter areas, right? Like so here for example um, and here okay, and You can see it. You see it's a little maybe it's a little too light. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and change that and make it strong. Boom. Okay, that's maybe a little too much, but you know what? That's kind of cool, actually. It's a good, good example. Okay, so now, I'm, now I can, I don't have to do it as strongly to make that effect. But I'm basically trying to give these rocks a little more volume and make them a little more interesting, uh, which is kind of a, a cool, neat trick for um, a foreground element in a landscape, uh, which can otherwise be a little flat. Uh, so. Dodge and burning on, you know, rocks, for example, is a really, really cool trick. Um, I really like doing that. Um, all right. So I, I kind of just try to find some interesting areas that that work well for that lighting. Um, if there's a kind of a, a spot that's a little flat, I like to just go in there and just like see what happens. Oh, that's cool. You see, it, it brings it a little more to life. And um, and then you can and then I'm going to go ahead and make another one uh, brush. And let's see what else we got. We have um, now my sky drama 
would lighten this a lot uh, much too much and I can show you what that is but you can play around with these the whole point is you create a brush you create a mask essentially so if I go in here you see it'll, it'll blow it out it's it's much too strong so I'm going to undo that what I'm going to do in here is actually do a slight lighten okay oh I gotta create a new mask here we go new mask brush and slight okay lighten and this is for the water so I really like having some sort of uh, a little bit of dodge and burn in the water. Um, it gives it some volume. And um, even with like streaks, sometimes uh, when you're doing it, it seems a little obvious. But then when you're done with it, it has this sort of more uh, reflective uh, state. Like here, you see, I'm, I'm accentuating that lightness. Let's see what it looks like if I went stronger on it. Probably too much, yeah, way too much. All right, good slight. Now, again, you can also go to the strong one and be like, you know what? Let's tone that down. Something like this, 29% of that presets, right? So that's cool. Um, and let's go ahead and, and, and do a little more into some of these areas. Um, I have noticed that dodging usually works better in areas that are more saturated rather than desaturated. When you go into desaturated zones and do it too much, it's a tendency to kind of get dirty and gray. So avoid that if you can. Um, all right. So let's see. Before, when we started, it looked like this. And now it looks like that. So see how it really kind of gave volume. Again, if you think like, oh, you know, this is too much. Let's go in here. And just drop it down a bit. That's seventy percent. Took away thirty percent of that, and it does look a little more uh, natural that way. Uh, and um, anyway, that's that's how you install and use um, these Photoshop RAW brushes in Adobe Camera Raw. And oh, by the way, in case yours says you know um, it doesn't say open object, uh, just go in here when you when you open a RAW file in Photoshop, click on this. Thing here, just underline, and then here you just say open in Photoshop a smart object. And the reason I'm doing this is because let's say I said open object at this point, um, this image, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just gonna show you this. This image here now is a smart object, and I can go back uh, into Adobe Camera Raw. All my, all my settings are, are, are adjustable, and nothing was baked in, otherwise, it becomes a flattened layer and not a smart object and i lose all that camera raw goodness all that dynamic range all right so that is how you use uh how to how to install and use adobe camera raw brushes in photoshop all right guys well i hope you liked it i hope you learned something and if you did please uh, remember to like this video and leave a comment. And if there's anything else that I can help you learn in Photoshop or Lightroom, please leave a comment. I'll be happy to make a tutorial for you. I'll see you in the next episode.